We humans all have unique individual fingerprints that can be used to figure out our identities. But what if you want to identify a tree? They don't even have fingers. Since 1990, more than one billion acres of forest have been lost, and not just to deforestation. There are thieves coming after your trees. In fact, illegally poached wood accounted for 30% of the global timber trade in 2020. Luckily, there are people trying to stop this large-scale theft of our natural beauty, like Michelle Toshak. I think I chose science because science was a way to get outdoors and ask questions based on curiosity. Science should be a fun process. The data collection is the most fun part of science. Michelle lives her data collecting dreams by enlisting volunteers to gather samples. Those samples help scientists create a genetic database for commonly stolen trees like big leaf maple, eastern white oak, and black walnut. Think of it like collecting timber thumbprints. You have everyday people just like me going out and collecting data. How does that help? Let's use Eastern White Oak as an example. Okay. This grows in the Eastern and Central US, over 34 states. Oh, wow, that's so really big. A researcher and their lab can't go out and do this on their own. Right. So we have people who live in these areas who go for hikes regularly, collect samples while they're out having fun. Multitasking on a hike sounds easy enough. So Michelle and I trek into the woods to try it out. She explains that volunteers must be trained, both online and with a field guide, to ensure the integrity of the data they get. Then Michelle and I meet up with project coordinator Isabella to learn what secrets these tree trunks hold. Hey! Welcome to our lovely sample site for today. Thank you! So how do we start? So you're going to look for a break in the bark, where you're not drilling into the exterior of the bark, and just turn the little thingy. So you're gonna press all of your body weight into the tree to get it to bite, and then start turning. Once the tree is tapped, we use a little scoop to pull our piece out. Cores like this contain an endless supply of information, from the age of the tree to its unique chemical profile, which researchers can use just like DNA. So each tree has its own chemical signature, like a perfume. This particular tree smells like Montana. Oh, hey -oh. <laughs> Yes, it does. Mm. So if I did this to another tree, it would smell a little bit different. A tree in Alaska will smell completely different from a tree in Montana. Oh, they have crazy. their own unique chemical signature. Oh, wow. We place this unique sample into a tube, mark the GPS location of the tree, and pack everything up to be sent to a lab and processed. So the researchers are able to analyze the genetics and the chemical profiles of these samples and then build that genetic and chemical reference library. Michelle and her team hope this library can help enforcement agencies track stolen timber through supply chains. Ideally, this helps them prosecute poachers in court with physical evidence. Thank you so much for today. I didn't know there was so much technology and science that went into protecting forests. This is so cool. I'm gonna make like a tree and get on out of here. Do you mean leaf? Oh, yes. That's better, huh? Bye! Bye! If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.